guys, so the first thing I did was I applied scotch tape um, on the edge of my eye here to kind of give me like the def the definition that I'm going to want for this look today. And um, I placed it real closely and always kind of pulling upward so that you tighten the skin. Then I took my Urban Decay Eyeshadow Anti-Aging Primer and I've applied it to my lids and I'm just going to blend this in with my finger. And we're going to go all the way up to the brow bone to smooth the skin and to hydrate. Being that it is winter time, I really like this primer. I feel like it gives me just enough hydration um, and it really helps to just keep everything in place. Okay, so you just wanna make sure that's really blended. I don't have any foundation on. I've prepped my skin with serums and moisturizers, but I have no foundation on because we're working with quite a bit of pigment. So I wanna make sure I get my eyes done first so I can clean up anything that might fall out. Okay, so let that set for a minute and then we're gonna start our um, eyeshadow, we'll continue, I should say, our eyeshadow priming using um, the Maybelline Master Cajal. This is the color Midnight Brown. It's basically just a cold pencil, but I'm gonna use this and smudge it into my lash line upward so it kind of sets a nice base for the um, vibrant eyeshadows. And it's gonna help to really pop the color up so that it doesn't get washed out into your skin. Um, sometimes when you apply a colored shadow that's extremely vibrant, your skin and the oils and everything can kinda just soak it up. So this allows you to kinda pop that color and keep it in place all day. I already started applying this to my left eye. Now I'm going to go in on my right eye and just start real close to the lash line. And just kind of gently, you don't want to tug on your lids, but gently kind of move this color about halfway. Then you're going to go in with any kind of shader brush or a crease brush, whatever you like. and just start blending out this product and working it up towards your crease line. And it's up to you if you want a high crease with a lot of color payoff, then go up higher. If you want a subtle crease, keep it softer and just kind of build the color till it's even on both sides. So using a crease brush and this color from MAC Atlantic Blue, I'm going to be focusing it um, about three quarters of the way onto my lid and working it just on the outside corner of my crease. And then we're going to be placing a few different colors on the inside. So here we go. get more color um, payoff since the crease brush is really just kind of working mostly for the crease. I'm going to use a flat brush. This is a MAC uh, 252. This was a limited edition brush, but I'm going to start pressing this, like I said, about three quarters of the way over. And that's my doggy in the background. And just start pressing this onto the lid. To brighten this, I'm going to go on top with more of a periwinkle blue from my um, BH Cosmetics palette. This is the first edition, I think, the 350 palette, if I'm not mistaken. And I'm just going to go in and kind of try to brighten this color a little bit while my dog bugs out over like a chipmunk. <laughs> Now using um, a blending brush from BH Cosmetics, I'm just going to go in and make sure that this blends a little bit better. It's going to look a little strange because we have the tape right here, but once we remove the tape, it's going to um, look completely different. So just bear with it. Now I'm using a, another flat brush. This is from Urban Decay, a shadow brush. I'm going to wet this slightly and dip it into a teal color from my BH Cosmetics um, 350 palette. I'm pretty sure it's a 350. Um, and just use like a more frosted tealish blue color. And we're going to be placing that right in the center of the lid. I'm 
And with that teal color, I actually did bring it into the corner of the eye. Um, at first I was just gonna do like center lid, but then I was like, you know what? I kind of like that graduation from this like frosted teal into this rich midnight blue. Okay, now the last thing I did was take a frosted kind of peacock blue and just place it in between the teal and the dark blue right in the center of the lid so that it graduates um, very gently from this teal into this richer blue. You always want to kind of have a nice transition color so it doesn't look like one solid color and another solid color. It just kind of transforms itself into one after the other. And also too going back in and just blending to make sure it's nice and even. Again, we're going to continue to blend, so this will look much different soon, I promise. So the last thing we're going to do is take MAC Stars and Rockets, which is one of my favorite colors, and it's almost gone here. Um, and we're going to use a softer kind of fluffy um, shadow brush. And going into the front of the eye here, we're going to kind of blend this into the blue and focus this mostly on the inside corner. Uh, but this is going to make this look like a lot more fun and edgy and kind of like Bowie-esque. And I like the the transition into the dark. So um, you can start just by placing it. Like I said, we can go back in and blend once everything's set. But this just gives us an idea of how we want it to look um, going in from that like rich kind of purple pink into the, the midnight tones. With whatever is kind of left on the brush, I'm just going to brush it right into the midnight color so that this way it will soften it and blend it out a bit. We still have the dark color, but we have, you know, kind of like I said, that variation. It doesn't look like just two colors right next to each other. The next thing I want to do is, um, use that same cold pencil and start kind of drawing a little bit of a line underneath my lashes here because we're going to be placing some blue pigment on top of this as well. Actually, you know what? I think I'm going to do purple just to like make it more crazy. Purple pigment. Okay, so you can pick any color um, purple you want. I'm going to take a little of Stars and Rockets and like a grapeish purple and um, apply that to my lower lash line. To kick it up one more notch and take a little hot pink and just kind of blend that in. Okay, now we're going to go in with our um, black eyeliner, line the waterline and stuff, and then go in with a liquid liner on top. When it comes to your eyeliner, just really utilize the tape, you know, use it as kind of your, uh, your tracing point to give you, you know, that ultimate nice sharp wing. Kind of go up as high as you want and then start bringing it down and over and creating how thick you want the wing to be. Okay, so we have the basics of where we want our eyeliner to be. We can always, um, you know, kind of deepen the color and adjust adjust it, excuse me, um, as we go along. But now is the moment of truth where we get to pull the tape off gently. Um, unless you're having a bad day and you need to wake up or something, girl. But um, very gently start to kind of unravel the tape. And in the direction of your um, gorgeous skin, pull upward because we never want to pull down and sag. And um, you get the idea of where your look is going. And we're just going to kind of clean up since we don't have any foundation on. I like to kind of sometimes use a makeup wipe or just a brush to get in there and really clean up the edges. And I'm going to go in now and start applying my foundation, my concealer, my powder, my spackle, um, and whatever else I think I'm going to need to look fierce and fabulous for the day. And um, you go do the same, and we'll meet back at the end. 
Hey guys, so this is the finished look. I went in and put on my foundation. Um, if you want to see my foundation routine, you can always look at my previous videos. It's pretty much the same. I used um, Kat Von D Locket foundation, and I also mixed a little bit of Urban Decay's um, Naked Skin One and Done. I feel like it just kind of smooths the foundation out a little bit more. It helps with pore control, oil control, um, and just giving it a really nice even finish. So I did that. I used my NYX powder that I absolutely love, the new um, hashtag no filter. And then another cool product I tried was this Maybelline Brow Define and Fill Duo. I know it's probably been out a while. This is the color Deep Brown, but I, I do really like it. It has like this kind of powdery, um, sponge tip applicator and then of course the pencil side so I guess the object is to fill them and then set them with the powder I don't really care for the powder that much but I did like the pencil so um, that's on the brows and then lips oh yes Urban Decay Gwen Stefani 24-7 um, pencil and Firebird as well as the lipstick I did a little bit of um, Big Bang lipstick by Urban because it's like real sparkly. And then I put a little bit of MAC Pigment Magenta Madness also on the lips just to give it a long wear and kind of lock it all in place. So um, yeah, I'm really happy with the look. And you know, you don't have to go quite as bold with the um, look, you know, with the lips. I just kind of felt like, you know, hey, homage to Bowie, Pink Floyd. I was feeling the whole like crazy prism colors. So um, I just went with it. But yeah, as always, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think. If you have any questions or you want to see a certain look, let me know. And thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.